It is now time for another request. He's not in the game. This is not something that has been revealed. This is part of my series. And if you're new to this series, it's a character request. And I do different movesets and different um, characters that you guys want to see added. And even if the character never has a chance to get into the game, it's so much fun creating these and doing my own research, even from shows that I haven't seen from new and all the different old school game this old school shows that i've seen and grew up watching and this is one of the shows that i grew up watching um long ago the power rangers the mighty Morphin power rangers and i received a request for the red ranger there's so many great possibilities and just imagine if they could possibly get their hands on one of the rangers to get them added into this game it'll be amazing but this isn't a reality this isn't something that has been revealed there's no leaks about it but this is all part of my series where i create movesets for some of the characters that you guys want to see added into nickelodeon all-star brawl 2 and all-star brawl that i've done in the past and even some that i've created from goku ursula if you could believe it believe it draculaura uh wow wow Wubsy from nick jr blue door of the explorer the list goes on and on kappa mikey and so many others that i've done recently um that you guys could check out and even new shows like rock paper scissors like a new nickelodeon show and if you guys have a request you guys can drop them into the comments and if you do not have to watch this full video if you don't want to because this is probably going to be a little bit longer to start talking about the character in the show if you haven't seen it and you don't know anything about the power rangers this is one of my favorite uh, shows i grew up watching and uh, even though the mighty Morphin power rangers isn't part of nickelodeon it doesn't matter is the whole point of this purpose or this series is just to create the characters and create ideas for the characters that you guys love and would love to see make it into this game as some kind of possibility if they were and if that character was to get into the game how i think he or she could play based on the moveset of my own and um the one thing with this series, just to save you the time, you don't have to watch the full video. You can look at and take a look at the moveset and the ideas that I came up with for this character and all the other characters that I made from the past in the playlist as well from the description if you want to just check it out that way. Because those that's what, exactly what I'm just going to be going through. So um, I just wanted to do that as a little bit of an intro, just a little bit on the longer side, just in case people don't know what this series is about. It's not about all oh, this character is out and trying to get people to watch this is a series to for content and potential characters that will be cool to see added into the game whether or not they ever get into the game it's part it's all about you guys for this series and coming up with ideas for the characters that y'all want to see so that's it but let's go ahead and get started um this is going to be all about the red ranger the first original power ranger in the first leader the original power rangers the mighty Morphin power rangers for a request i had so much fun putting this together and i wanted to make him stand out and um the one thing i do i want to talk about the backstory so just in case you don't know about this character or this show i'm going to start with that first stages and then we're going to get into more of the ideas that i came up with for this this character today for this character request so the backstory the red ranger is the leader of the power rangers and this is jason from the original power rangers and i love the green ranger the green ranger will always be a legend and one of my favorites and I, I just never get tired of watching the power rangers this is the best power rangers of the series of all the other series that they came out with i love i will always love the mighty more from power rangers this is definitely the best one and um this is the leader of the power rangers the red ranger and if you don't know who the power rangers are let's just put it on the characters it's been any stage if you don't know who the power rangers are the Power Rangers are a team of superheroes recruited to save Angel Grove from the evil witch Rita and Lord Zed, along with any other villains or hordes of monsters that they bring out and try to summon to slow down and stop and destroy the Power Rangers. 
but the Power Rangers purpose is to band together and protect the world and all of humanity from Rita and just from evil and just saving this main city of Angel Grove. And this team of Rangers basically receive their powers from the Power Morphers that allow them to morph into the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And each of these Rangers have their own unique color and their own beast or basically their own Zord that they represent from uh, the Dino Zord that you're going to get to know and find out about this in, in this video today and many others that all the other Rangers have their own unique Zords that they control and that their um, their outfits are basically their outfits when you take a look at the Rangers for every whatever show that you watch they all represent a particular Zord a, or a particular beast or animal from which they can transform into for their their Megazord and things like that as you'll see so that's just basically the whole summary of what the Power Rangers is about when you start watching the show if you haven't seen the Power Rangers before or heard of them they can transform and they say it's more for time <laughs> it's just so iconic and you see just them transform and they start fighting it's just it never gets old it's always fun to watch and they're always fighting something new and it's always some kind of new threat that's coming around Angel Grove or into the city or just someone in the group that they're probably trying to target amongst the rangers it's just always fun to watch this show so that's just the bad story of what the power rangers story is about and what the power rangers are about and their purpose so they're they're all just trying to protect humanity and stop rita being the main villain in lord zed and stop them from trying to take over the world and um, angel grove and protect it so that's the bad story. But now let's start talking about the stages for the Red Ranger and basically for the Power Rangers. If either one of these characters or one of these Rangers got into the game for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. I went with the Command Center and let's just go back for a little bit. I can definitely picture and visualize the Command Center being one of the the um, the stages since they got like the Technodrome takedown. It made me think of that a little bit. But the command center is the base of operations that could be a suitable stage with Zordon and Alpha as background characters. It'll be really cool if they created something like that. And Jack can visually see it. He has Zordon in the background and then Alpha or Alpha 5 being background characters in the, inside the command center. And then I went with the other stage with the main city. See how they have Tremorton. The city of Tremorton is in the background, so they could do something like this. Of course, you don't have to fly and just just um, cruise on through the city. They could do something like that, but they could still have the city of Angel Grove. Since it's the main city of the show and also the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, it's where all the action takes place in the major city. So I came up with those as the two main stages, as ideal stages that they can add for this game for a DLC for one of the Power Rangers. Now let's start talking about, let me click that out. This is going to something else. Let's start talking about the costumes. And the one thing I like about this game is that we don't have to worry about just having one costume for each character. We have multiple costumes for the game, plus the mind controlled versions of the, um, the characters as well and it'll look pretty cool with the rangers with this kind of stuff with this kind of effect but every character has their own sort of unique costumes that reference things and uh, the costumes i selected for the red ranger i went with red, the red ranger zeo go armor that he can transform into and even um the green ranger himself gave him this kind of armor as you can see in the show so the Zeo Gold armor, I went with that. And then considering the variety of costumes that every character has in this game, and just when you look at SpongeBob, for example, he has a lot of good amount of costumes, plus a bonus costume. Both SpongeBob and Patrick have the most costumes in this game. But the, the variety and the different color variations, it made me think of Ember. See how they did some of these? Did a red and green one. So let's just do, do, use this one for, as an example. 
outside of just the Zeo Gold armor for the Red Ranger, I thought they could probably have all the other Red Power Rangers get represented for additional color variations. And I do this almost with some certain characters if there's not too many costumes that you can go upon. Yeah, there's other different Rangers, other Red Rangers out there from the different Power Rangers from Ninja Storm and uh, Dino Thunder and Power Rangers SPD and so many other Power Ranger shows out there. But I didn't want to use those. So I thought it'll probably be much cooler if they represented the other the other five rangers as different color variations that you could transform to and for the red ranger so you could be the blue ranger the pink black yellow or the green and or white ranger green and white ranger one of those rangers as bonuses that you can also be able to get and when you probably buy the dlc as a little bit of an idea yeah it's going to be probably the green ranger but when you get the dlc and buy it upon your purchase you can get access to the white ranger as well so I thought that'll be a nice little bonus extra costume that can match up with how they did the elastic waistband costume and the quickster. You buy the DLC for the Red Ranger, you get access to the Green and White Ranger as special bonus costumes. So you could be them. So I thought those would be additional nice alternate costumes. So that way you can be your favorite Ranger while playing as the DLC. So if you like the Yellow Ranger or the Blue Ranger, things like that, whichever Ranger is of the group for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that you like, you can still rock that costume. So they can still be represented that way as a little idea. So those are the costumes and we talked about the stages. Now we're gonna start talking about the taunts and animations that I came up with and I wanted to expand on what he can do and I even came up with some story reactions that he can, he can have when you run into him as a character. And all these other characters have their own reactions when you run into them. Because they're all heroes too. Most of them are. So, so just a little talk and some reactions. Of course he's going to say, it's Morphin time. <laughs> Especially when the, when the fight starts. It'll be really cool. The Red Ranger can strike a cool pose with his power morpher. It's Morphin time. As soon as the battle starts, he can have that as a little animation. And then he can also have it as a little taunt. So his power morpher can just flash. It'll be dope. And then with his power sword, one of his weapons that I utilize for his moveset that you guys will find out in a matter of minutes, a power sword special taunt where the Red Ranger can pose wielding his, um, his dragon dagger or basically his power sword. And then some story encounter quotes I gave him. Just had to look up some of his most iconic quotes. He'll say, is it the smallest chance of victory enough of, of a reason for us to keep on fighting? It'll be something that you could say when you run into him, into the story, into this campaign. And then another one that I thought would be pretty cool. He'll say, Zordon, we need dinosaur power now. <laughs> That'll be really cool to see when you write in, run into him because he's going to call we call upon Zordon. And I utilize this also. For his moveset, which you're gonna find out soon. And some and then lastly, some winning and losing animations I came up with. So when he wins a winning animation for the Red Ranger, he can pose with all the original Power Rangers together as a surprise in celebration. So the Pink Ranger, all of them will all show up on the screen in this winning celebration and they'll all pose up pose together in celebration I think that'll be really awesome to see a losing animation the Red Ranger can struggle to stand on one knee on the ground while his power sword holds him up and you can see that in the show it's when he had double the double the swords when he had um I think he had the when he when he fused the power where he got some of the power boost from the Green Ranger from his dragon sword so he had a green and red sword, green and red power sword with dual wheels. And um, he was actually doing that in the show. So I think it'll be awesome to see that. I don't know who has something like that as a similar losing animation. I don't think they do for some of these characters from memory for this game. 
But I think that'll be a nice losing animation with him trying to hold himself up with the power sword and he's on one knee. It's, it's realistic because with that, that's sometimes what the, the Rangers will do if they can't. They're struggling to stand up and get up. They'll use their weapons to try to hold them up. So those are just some of the taunts and some of the reactions and quotes that he could probably say and some of the animations that I came up with for um, the Red Ranger that I think will be cool and fitting, especially with his power morpher being and being able to pose with his um his power sword. But my favorite part, the move set I always have fun with and just with all the other ideas as well. And uh, the move set that I came up with him and also the super I'm gonna also mention. So let's start with just his, his three hit combo. They call it the mighty combo. So the Red Ranger can strike the enemy with a three hit combo and finish with a spinning roundhouse kick. And they got some nice moves and they get a lot of air time. And when you watch the Power Rangers, it doesn't matter which Power Ranger show you watch. When they're fighting, they get a lot of air time. When they jump at the enemy, it's, like, yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to see. They get a lot of air time with some of the moves when they jump, when they jump kick you, things like that. I thought this would be a fitting little three hit basic combo that I can give him for his for his little light attacks and stuff. Now, for his other moveset and abilities, I wanted to really try to make this sound really cool and realistic and make it fit the show because it's actually what he does in the show from some of the moves and all the abilities that they do. Now, his wrist communicator is going to be really dangerous, so I want to just, you know, follow up with this. So his wrist communicator, this is used to keep in close contact with Zordon and the rest of the other Rangers, you know, on comms. So if they need to call in for backup or they need something in, uh, like a power up or some backup or something like that, the wrist communicator is going to be something really handy to the Red Ranger for the field. So with his wrist communicator, I thought he could, I thought he could call upon Zordon really quickly to create a bright red protective shield that reflects all projectiles and can also absorb damage, absorb all damage for a limited amount of time. And each hit that's received will also build up his slime meter. And I thought about this. Of course, I can't show it right now. I could just pull it up from the campaign, but I was thinking about the perk that they added. With the Urken Shield, it's a Zim perk, and uh, you see how the Urken Shield in this game is an actual perk for the story campaign. If you if you uh, used it before, as you upgrade it, it'll be able to, it, it absorbs more hits, and you won't start taking damage until you receive a certain amount of damage from the Urken Shield. And once the Urken Shield is destroyed, then you'll start taking damage. So I wanted to utilize something that can make it even more unique with his wrist communicator that he uses or that the rangers use in the show not even just to call upon zordon but this bright red shield will be able to basically absorb everything that you throw at it for a limited amount of time so even though you're rushing him if you're probably trying to be aggressive on the battlefield if you're an aggressive player someone that's playing the red ranger can still be able to basically take everything throw every punch you want to take every punch that you throw at him or any sort of projectile that you try to doing fire a rocket from with jimmy neutron or you know summon spunky or even someone from one of her um ghostly projectiles in her ghost mode or aims ice ability just it is azula's fireballs things like that Raphael shuriken it just goes on and on so this this risk communicator is going to definitely be one of my i would say one of my personal favorites if they definitely utilize this for the rangers i think this is one of my favorite ones that i came up with so Zordon is going to be a definitely a part of the Red Ranger just looking out for him for this. Of course, it's going to go on cooldown, so you can't just spam it. So it's, it fits that balance for uh, the risk communicator. So it'll be on, on cooldown. So once it's destroyed, uh, you're, you're going to have to wait a little while for it to come back. So you can reactivate it. His power sword, of course, I utilize that one of his actual weapon that he uses in the show from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and with the power sword he can summon his power sword at will and be able to recall it at any time during the battle and something unique outside of the slime meter I gave him a power sword meter so who else got a meter in this game Red Tar with his fire 
Garfield with his Sugar Rush meter. Uh, Ember with her Cheer Gauge, which is one of my personal favorites in this game. And then... Who else has a meter? I don't think anyone else has a meter. She just has the different transformations. But that's everybody else that has a meter in this game. Just Reptar, for example, and then Ember with their meters and stuff like that. So this Power Sword meter... The weapon can be charged to full power with each successful hit or it can be charged when neutral at a very slow rate. And I was thinking about how you can, you know, with Zim's projectile, I forgot the name of it, but you see how you can charge it up and it becomes a bigger projectile blast. No one has their meter. They can't build their meter like that. And also April almost forgot. April also has her meter with her, um, her ratings, her ratings meter. I almost completely forgot about that, but I wanted to utilize this power sword meter to make a difference. So when he's not moving, when he's not moving, he can still be able to, the power sword meter is still going to charge through as the battle goes on. So when the meter, when the, the power sword meter is full, the player can unleash its power, creating a large explosion with a giant swing. So just as like I mentioned, the meter will continue to charge on its own as the battle goes on. So I thought this would be pretty cool. So not only you're not looking out for Zordon, you know, looking out for Zordon with that that uh, wrist communicator uh, cooldown period. He's that power sword, his power sword meter reaching maximum is going to be something to also look out for as well. And even if you knock him out or you take a stock off of him, his power sword meter is going to continue to charge. So it's not going to lose any progress or anything like that is going to continue to charge throughout the battle even if you knock him out once or twice or a few times so you have something that you can make that come back in a projectile attack of course i had to use his blade blaster like um danny phantom has his projectiles and ember has hers from her guitar and even playing some with his sauce things like that and uh, school with his clarinet the the blade blaster is an iconic weapon <clears throat> that that's from the mighty one from power rangers that the red ranger also utilizes it's a sidearm so the blade blaster can be fired and fires laser shots and also a charge shot for a bigger blast across the field so almost something similar to how you see how someone could charge out his uh his explosive projectile it gets bigger but of course, it'll explode on in his hands if he holds it too long. But the blade blaster, blaster is different, so you can charge it up and release it whenever you want to. Almost like you can charge out aim, ice, and just uh, release it that way. So I thought the blade blaster would be something that you can um, you can also use. So you have his own little projectile attacks, and he can fire it horizontally. He can't fire it. Um, he can't fire it vert vertically or diagonally. He would only just be able to fire it, you know, across the, the screen horizontally. So you can't really be able to angle it. And now his super or his ultimate attack, his ultimate attack, whichever you want to call it, or final smash. But it's his super. These are supers in this game. So his super, the Red Ranger can be able to summon his Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur and take full control manually. So, just like I mentioned with um, the rock, paper, scissors uh, request that I did with their super, none of these characters have a super where you can take manual control of them. All you can do is be able to unleash it one time, they either block it or get hit by it, and that's it. They can expand some of these characters' supers by being able to control the character when you activate their super or ultimate attack in this game. So, when the Red Ranger summons his dinosaur, his Tyrannosaur is a dinosaur, you can be able to fully control the dinosaur yourself until that slime meter runs out. So it's going to start draining the, the slime meter, things like that. They need to do something different like that with some of these characters for their supers. Instead of just activating it once, and then that's it. So that way you'll be able to have main control of your character. So you will be able to control the Tyrannosaurus dinosaur, which is his Zord, or basically his beast, or what he in which he represents and the tyrannosaurus dinosaur for his moves well, he will have laser beams a tail swing and an uproar so let's start explaining these real quick 
So with the the Tyrannosaurus dinosaur with the laser beams, they will be a, he'll be able to fire you or basically you'll be able to fire powerful laser beams from um, the the dinosaur's eyes. And of course, you can fire them very quickly, so they're going to do a lot of damage. And it makes me think of how Gur can fire lasers that pew, 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 from across the screen. You can fire them faster than or faster than Gur with this uh, this dinosaur when you start taking control. A tail's wing attack, so just three different moves. Of course, you'll be able to jump, and you'll also be able to hover. But if you, if you're depending on the stage that you have to catch somebody that's in the air, you'll be able to jump and hover with the dinosaur, of course. The tail swing, the dinosaur can be able to swing its tail and knock back all enemies in a full circle. So, so if anybody's, uh, you got multiple enemies and multiple players up close, it'll be better than on a Retar's tail attack and his tail attacks and stuff like that. So you get all around you, so you just all the different directions with his tail swing and then the uproar the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur's loud roar can be able to stun all enemies in the air or on the ground. And you know how it made me think of uh, Embers. Uh, when she said solo, I forgot the name of the uh, the move. Well, the actual move name from her moveset. But you see how she can stun you. She says solo when she plays a certain tune with that, that spiraling purple circle. It'll stun you just like that, but you will not be able to move. So with that uproar, you're going to be stunned for a very long time. So the Tyrannosaurus dinosaur is going to be able to have its way with you and basically be able to destroy you right then and there. So there's no escaping this 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 Tyrannosaurus dinosaur. So he'll be able to get uh, the Ray Ray is going to basically be able to get multiple knockouts with this move. But they definitely need to do something with some of these supers to have them where you can be able to having a control of the character so i thought jay would do something like that for jenny but you can fly around with her for her recovery to have to go where you want to go but i think this tyrannosaurus dinosaur is definitely going to be something to watch out for if they were ever to add it in the game it'll definitely be his ultimate or his super for sure but that's everything that i came up with for the red ranger request for this dlc if he ever gets in it's not about him oh he's never gonna get into the game that's okay too but the whole purpose of the series is to bring the characters to life as if they were playable in this game and if they were to be playable how i think they can play and um i definitely have fun creating this character and it brought back so many memories just watching the show all over again and being able to reminisce and the memories from the Power Rangers and things like that. I like all the Rangers and even in the other shows, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is is always going to be the best one, in my honest opinion. And um, let me know what y'all think about this character. Maybe some of the characters that y'all like to see next. And um, if you have a favorite Ranger and things like that. But I wanted to at least represent all the Rangers coming up with this. So that way... They can all still be part of the Red Ranger with his costume, so you can still be able to play as your favorite Ranger for this, um, as this idea. But, um, I definitely think it'll be cool to see them, but, you know, even though Mighty Morphin Power Rangers isn't part of Nickelodeon, it'll be nice to see one of them get in as a surprise.